Well, Matt, thanks for joining us again. It was a moment of quality deep into stoppage time. Yeah, it was. Um, really, really happy with a point because I don't think the performance got anywhere near where we wanted it to be. Um, it was a rare bit of quality um, near the end for that for that point. But ultimately, I understand we need to be better. Um, we need to we need to find some way of having a little bit more confidence. We need to. We just need to find it within ourselves. At the moment, it's, it's really tough. We're giving away sloppy goals, which are then affecting the confidence on the pitch, and we're not playing how we'd ideally like to. Um, look, I haven't had loads of time here, me and the staff, so we haven't, we've probably worked a little more without the ball than, than with it, and we understand totally we need to get better with it. So much experience in the back four, but they look so nervous. Yeah, I think just there's a nervousness around the place at the minute. Um, and it's not making an excuse. I just think it is what it is. I think everyone can sense it. And everyone's really disappointed that they've got that uh, nervousness. Um, and ultimately, at the moment to win a game, it's really, it feels like a real uphill battle. But we haven't lost it. It was a great bit of quality. Um, I'm clinging to that positivity, you know, because at the moment, it's li- I'm a little bit frustrated with, with how it was. Um, and standing on the side, it's not always nice when uh, you want it to be better, you know, and I understand that totally. So we've just got to keep going, um, keep going, keep working, see what we can do better because we know we need to be and then just, just keep fighting. It was such a positive start to the second half, but it wasn't maintained. That's what I said after the game. That's what I'm frustrated about. So at half time, I made it very clear to the players, you have to be able to pass the ball and move and make the game easier for each other by moving. So in the first half, we've done, uh, in the, at the start of the second half, we've done that. We played it, it, wide to Theo, he played inside, followed it, and then just things opened up and then we found the gaps and we created two really good chances. I thought we started the second half was probably our best spell for 10 minutes. And then after that, we've just kind of reverted to going a bit too long, too quickly. And it's frustrating because I just think they were probably set up to deal with that much better than they would have been if we'd have moved it around a bit more. So that's my frustration. After the coach of the game, you talk, spoke about the energy and the desire. Was the, the same sort of level of work weight there this afternoon? Uh, it didn't look like it, did it? Um, you'd have to say there's maybe a factor of us playing on a heavy pitch on Tuesday night. It's given an excuse out, but maybe that is a factor to do with it. I don't think we had the, quite the same vibe and zip that we could have. Um, We've tried to be, do a little bit more kind of in the, like with some analysis rather than out on the pitch. We haven't worked them hard the last few days, but you know, sometimes I think just maybe the goals are take, sapping the energy out of them a bit at vital times. We get back into the game with another great finish from Ruel um, and we don't have any time to settle and gain our own confidence. So back again, we're playing catch up. Back again, we have to kind of find a way to dig in deep to get back when really we just want a little bit of a spell even and just try and find our confidence that way so um, yeah it's something that we need to get better at These three games were all described as must win didn't win any of them No not, not exactly what I wanted it wasn't the, the fairy tale I wanted so uh, but I do I'm pretty aware that football isn't perfect it's very hard to crack it uh, straight away so look we go back we rest we, we analyse and we've, we realise we, we just try and be better uh, in the next game that's all we can do is possibly the most positive element is the fact that there's been two goals deep into stoppage time. That must tell something about the character of this group of players. Yeah, and whatever you say, they're, they're really they're an honest group of players. They're an honest group. I, I'm not just saying it. They're an honest group of players. But we understand it's not just that. That isn't enough. We need to have a little bit more and we need to be a little bit better than that. Uh, and we need to keep improving. Otherwise, it'll be tough. So... It's a big, big positive that we've scored two goals late. I think it shows there is a spirit and there's a fight and that's something I've never questioned them with. It's just now, can we be better? You know, we've, we need to be better. We need to, we need to give people something to cheer about. I, I totally get that. And the only way we can do that is by get, making the process better and working hard and keep going. It's unusual in 2022 that you've got a full week ahead of the game at uh, Hartlepool. Do you think you'll be in charge in the North East? I have no idea. Honestly, it's a day-to-day basis. Um, me and the staff, we're just doing our best every single day. That's all you can ever do, isn't it? So that's all we do. Um, I had uh, massive hopes today would be better than it was. You know, we didn't lose, but I, was, I had big hopes it would be better than it was. Um, but ultimately, it's a point, you know, it's not, it's not the end of the world, but I would really have liked it to be in a win. 
this season's been all about injuries. How significant is Connor Wood? Um, I'm not totally sure. I think it looks like a bad gash. Whether it's a twist or not, we'll have to wait and see. So that's something we're going to have to look at. Um, Otis is uh, someone we've got to analyse well. It, it was touch and go with Otis, but he, he couldn't quite make it. He tried. Um, so, yeah, um, Drizzy's back next week. So, uh, players are coming back. Um, so, yeah. And, uh, you know, Sartorio's found the back of the net a couple of times now. Yeah, um, another positive, I thought. He was probably our, um, he was probably a big threat for us in the game, probably our biggest one. Um, so, yeah, really pleased he scored another goal. Um, and hopefully he can keep doing it. Theo Archibald could be a big miss, though. He's got that FA hearing. Any news on that one? Uh, no, I only found out about that yesterday. So, um, yeah, or Thursday. Uh, so, it's, no, it's, it, it's, it's not great. We don't know what, uh, what we're going to do yet. I'm going to have to speak to Theo and, obviously, uh, the board and everything. So, we'll just go from there. But, yeah, there's a, there's a chance he'll miss it. Um, we'll just have to see how that one goes.